Hello, internet friends. <laughs> My name is Bay. This is Bloodborne, but I'm bad. Completely devoid of any noise whatsoever, because this chalice dungeon, the ailing Loran chalice dungeon, one of the ones we have to do to get to Queen Yarnum, the Fumerian queen, is one of the paths we have to take. And this is the first layer. I'll probably just have this as a compilation of the bosses. I think it's two angry beast bosses. The beast possessed soul. All right, bud. Oh, you can break those, huh? All right. Ow. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> so it's four hits and I'm dead. All right, got it. Boss scaling. All right, we're back. Are we going to die again? Let's find out. Probably. Probably going to go for parries on this guy instead. Stop him from jumping around like a dingus. I, I... Please show me how far away I am that he's still hitting me and he's not even really... <laughs> Alright. Time to die again. Only down to two fire paper. Let's go. And I got more more bosses in here to fight. Okay. Animation on that takes so long. I, I'm okay. God, it's so annoying. All right, sure, I guess. What are... See? Easy peas. If I get hit by him at all, I can't move. I... I... Okay! <laughs> same... Same exact death. Incredible. Same exact death. Wow. All right, back again. Oh, I'm about to die to this boss more than an actually hard boss. It's annoying. Let's do it. He's always just far enough away, man. See, I can't, I can't move. Once he hits me, I can't move. That's probably me just to parry him, but I, I can't move if he hits me. I guess I can keep trading that hit with him. Just 
try that. Even if I get a partial. Yep, partials are fine, I guess. Close enough. Stop that. Uh-huh. You done? So much health. Fireballs. No fireballs. No fireballs. <laughs> All right. No fireballs. Only random swings. So dumb. Chunk me up easy. This game's hard. Who said this game was hard? Super obnoxious. It was catching me on uh, Ludwig moments ago. Was the um, the swings that go behind models, so your iframes don't last long enough if you dodge with the swing. But because he swings both sides of his body, if you dodge right and you dodge it, and then he swings left and you dodge the same direction, he still swings behind his butt. Can I have some fire paper? Because this whole place is full of beasts. And I have only six remaining. That's fine. Where are we going? Right here? Sure. Well, look at that. Parrying work. Who would have thunk? Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's just the weird thing about realizing how this game works. Is that it wants you to be aggressive. But sometimes being aggressive is standing there. I'm aggressively standing here, waiting, menacingly. <laughs> so the loot we're after in here is only from the bosses. So let's get to that boss. Oh. Layer two boss. It's the blood star bees. With probably like 30,000 health or something ridiculous. Okay. Are you stuck in the door? I'll take the free damage. It's so fast. management I didn't hit it with any of those attacks Wow 
poison. What the hell? I don't think you can even parry this beast. Oh, you can. There we go. Key moment to heal from the poison. Uh, caught me on the... What the hell was that claw through the dirt that hit me? Got it. Phase three. Damn it. There we go. Something I don't get poisoned during that. There we go. Still taking plenty of poison damage though. over me. Not sure what it's doing. Oh, the last big burst of poison. There we go. Nice. Ah, there's the ailing root chalice, which we do not care for. Don't care for that at all. That's if you want to do a whole bunch more of this with random bosses. And do I? Um, no. <laughs> we don't have to do it for the quest line. So, no, thank you. I just thought I'm just going to summon on the boss because I don't care. Chalice dungeons are not meant to be where you... Maybe they are. I don't care. Where you prove your metal. No. I'm going to summon... Joseph. Let's go Beast Claw Joseph. He do indeed be having a Beast Claw. You won't bow back, will you? Rude bastard. Uh, this is the dead end. Is that not the dead end? One of these paths was a complete dead end. Oh no, this one was not. This just goes right to the boss. Any respawns? Nope. This will make the boss have a ton more HP, but uh, it also will mean the boss won't just be up my butt the whole time. Wow, even the layer three does have a uh, side path. The opening door did not have a side path, but this one will. Alrighty. Who's the boss of the Ailing Loran Chalice Dungeon Layer 3? Is it a beast? Let's go, Joseph. It is. Oh. Oh. Abhorrent beast. Do you care about this? Jaws, if you want to not die immediately, my guy. I kind of think I want to hit it in the face. 
for uh, stagger. Uh, I went for it, but you got any blood vials there, Joseph? Oh God. Joseph does in fact not have any more blood vials. Ow, my body. Hmm. That has extra range that I wasn't expecting. Hmm. And that, that, that combo. All right. Well, we have found out that, uh, Jaws is not that strong. And he just gives this guy 50% more health for no reason. It's a Pikachu. This model is what the beggar turns into if you attack him. Oh, the weird cannibal guy on the roof. Oh, he punches tornadoes from fists. So he has reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for sure. It's a little bit longer reach than I was expecting. All right, well, Joseph, thank you for the information. I will no longer be in need of your services because all you're doing is giving a boss that doesn't seem that difficult a ton more HP for no reason. I think if I just get in there and just hit it with my stuff. Is this still Joseph? Summon Vitus. I don't know who the hell that is, but we'll summon them. That's fine. Who's this strapping young gentleman? Or amazingly epic woman. I don't know. There's only been like one woman summoned so far. Is a dude. Is a dude with. Ooh, he's got the whip. He's got the axe whip. All right, bud. Are you going to get three shot like Joseph did? Let's uh, find out. I do want those souls back, though, my guy. Because you're probably going to drop like 100,000 yourself. You are getting uh, getting beat up just like the other guy was. Oh, I thought I hit my... Uh... Blood vial. These hunters have no health. Oh, God. That was way faster than I was expecting. All right, so literally the exact same thing just happened. Serrated matters for this guy? Maybe it does. I don't know. God, I have to dodge that so late. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how to get in. Well, not that. That takes too long to attack him with. Hmm. He just attacks fast enough to really not get a combo in. See, like I get one hit and he just hits me back.
Yeah, see, it's one hit and then I still get hit. Nice. I'm dead? Yep. Hmm. Alright. Not bad. Alright, no summon this time. I would like my souls real quick, because those are important at this stage. Damn it. So weird how he just... Okay, I'm just dead. All right, cool. <laughs> I love, I love the, the get buffs up, get buffs up, get debuff on, die to two hits. <laughs> All right, back again. All right. Okay. I don't know how you're all of a sudden right next to me. lightning -y now. I went for the parry on that. I, I can't even read that attack. It's so weird. Oh, okay. What? too early on that one. I can never hit him twice. I, okay. Never hit him twice. All right, we're going one hits forever. I, I hate that punch, dude. That's miserable. <sighs> Boomer reflexes, I guess. I hate that attack so much. Oh boy. I can't stay in a pocket anywhere. I, I can't stay close to him. Okay, maybe left dodge is better. Dodge left instead of right. It looks like it's a weak side. I'll try that. I hate you! God damn, that one little punch, man. That tiny little jab is the worst attack this guy has. I hate that attack so much. Okay. I can't hit him twice, ever. Nope, see, I hit him twice and I get hit. So oh, I can't do that. I'm just dead. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Different approach then. We got to whittle away 30,000 HP with a 400 attack, one attack at a time and never hit him twice. All right, let's die again. Let's go. Where my blood at? That punch. That one punch. 
like just just bothers me so much that right there i hate it i'm gonna try to see if i can get parries in so far it seems like no he is not parryable One attack at a time. All right. Just dead. Cool. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Let's go die again. Okay. 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 Very clearly dodge rolling, but that's fine game. All right. All right. All right. All right. I don't know how to be aggressive on this guy because he has infinity poise. I'm just dead again. Yep. See, told you. Let's go die again. That's fine. All right. Adjustments. I guess he was wanting me to get those uh, blood echoes back. Apparently very easily poisonable, as you can see by now. There's only two poison knives. That punch is so miserable, man. All right. your fist or how long is your arm even <laughs> oh my god it's just so little openings See, the time you make it close to him, he just attacks you. And you can't swing on him in between his attacks, so he just hits you anyway. Oh my god, please. That Bruce Lee punch, man. Miserable. I actually don't think I have enough daggers to kill him, though. Because it takes two for 10% of his health, so I'm going to have to get in his. Ridiculous. See? Only one hit. Only one. Punch. I'm gonna have nightmares about that punch. Can't hit him twice. I was like, oh, I actually got it really quickly. Can I hit him twice? The answer to that question is no. You got him twice.
Waiting for the three hit attack. That's the one hit. That's the two hit. Oh my God. I think his fist is like morphing distance. It's so annoying, man. I hate it. I hate it so much. I actually, it's the worst, just the worst. Are oh, you still poisoned there? Okay. Three hit combo. Oh, I hit him twice, but I got hit for it. Three hit combo. Next phase. He's no longer poisoned. No, punish for poisoning him. Yep, 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 yep. Three hit combo. Nope. Bruce Lee punch. Wow. Okay. He has a lingering hitbox on that. I don't know when to hit him on this last phase. I guess. After that? No, nope, not far enough. And I'm dead. Well, that works. It will take like 15 minutes, but it works. All right. All right. We're back. Oh, way more damage than I thought, actually. Probably get him in an animation, it'll take more damage. Sleep punch. All right, poison knife time. That's the three combo I should hit it with, too. I probably can hit him after the Bruce Lee punch. One, two, three. One. I kind of don't like rotating this way, but whatever. I started doing it, so we're here now. Please, sir, show me your hitboxes on that hit. Nope, I can't get him on that combo. Apparently. So weird that you can't interrupt this guy because that's a parry right there he just doesn't visceral all right we're gonna apply the poison i was interrupted god
Well, if he hits me, I can't hit him. Oh, man. Good lord. Lost my spacing. I, I, it's so far away. God damn it. Hang on. We gotta swap. I gotta see if I can get him with the poke. He gets he closes the distance too fast. I I I hit the the dodge button on my controller and nothing happened. All right, that works. Only if he's close enough, obviously. So barely hitting him. Sure, game. Whatever. He's still poisoned. There's that hitbox there, so it misses. Yep. Nope, I saw the button I pressed, but okay. Good gracious. Okay. The ground slam, I can hit him. I can't hit him during that. Next phase is getting even faster. Okay, that's a new attack. I've never seen that before, ever. And I can't control my character. All right, good. I can probably hit him after that. I have to jump forward, then jump back. jump forward into that maybe nope once he hits me I can't move my character anymore yep. poke him Poison still, okay. We can poke him. He has a phase four. All right. He has. Excuse me, please, sir. Show me how you do that. That apparently hit me. Okay. I just need to poison him again. I just need to not die. We're strafing left, baby. Dude, the hitbox is crazy. He's done it. <laughs> sure. Sure. It's the fastest and most aggressive Souls game they've ever made. You have to be aggressive and fast in a fast aggressive game. What's that? Circle strike with poison knives? Because you literally can't be faster or more aggressive than the enemy? I don't give a shit. <laughs> Oh, we got the chalice we needed though. We needed that for the quest. Get me the hell out of here. And before I need, we don't have to unslot the chalice. We can always come back if I need the uh, doors. 
so lame so lame considering what i just did when i manned up against the beast possessed soul in this scaling and then my blood starved beast in this scaling it's a depth four layer two and i just like i i read the attacks and hit the boss when i could and dodged around it and it was all good right like i one shot that but i just died like a dozen times to this guy <laughs> it's just the, yeah, the, the, the differences in the scaling in uh, Chalice Dungeons seems a little bit completely nutty. Oh my goodness. Shout out to Poison Knives. I don't think I ever used them in the rest of the game until now. You know what? Shout out to Poison Knives. We'll buy some more. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I need some tomatoes to bite and splurt everywhere. What the hell was that? All right, what's the next step of the quest? Where, where to next? <laughs> oh man. Okay, so we have to go back in. We... So we have to go back. That's why we didn't unslot it, do you think? So it's subchained from level layer three in the optional area between the main unlockable gate and the boss. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right. So we have to go back. <laughs> Kate, Kate. We have to go back, Kate. <laughs> Lauren's time? No, not Lauren's time. We have to go back. I found them. And complained a bit, but I found them. We need those things right there. Okay. There is also a big box down here. What's in the big box? Make the noise. Oh, two more. Oh, so there's four down here. So I guess you can go here which is right in the door. You just drop down the weird ladder. Well, I guess it's a bridge. Some might call it a bridge. It's a ladder that goes horizontally instead of vertically. You can just drop down right there. Well, otherwise you go across the way. Okay, that's all we needed from here. Let's get the heck out. Let's get it. All right, after that chalice dungeon, let's do something potentially way easier or not. I don't know. I can imagine a depth four bottom layer is a bit higher scaled than the story mode. Hello, Lawrence. Would you like a treat? Mmm. Pixels. He's like a... Oh, it's his horn. The horn growing out of his head. That was like a human scream. And that was not... Neither was that. Hey, bud. Woo! Okay, so swings in front of him. Oh, it does the same thing that the powder kegs do. Ah, I wasn't expecting that. All right. It does the, uh, the powder keg, like, woof. Okay. Gotta be a little more careful with those dodges then, because it poofs them out. It's the technical term for it. It's the, uh, the fire aura when he slams down. So, looks like it's still just Cleric Beast, though. Just get behind him. Back up the stairs we go. Wakey, wakey. Oh, 
Oh yeah, see? Interesting. Still has to be if I'm behind him. All right. Wow. Cleric Beast is pretty parryable. Is Lauren still? I can't lock on to bosses like this. It's too big. Hey, Lauren, do you want to? Just spin in circles all day? Oh good, he has a jump. Mm, going for a parry. Yeah, some fire resist would be good here, I guess. Oh. Off the damn screen. Saw that coming. Hmm. His animations don't have like wind ups the same as the regular cleric beast, so I don't know. I'm supposed to hit him in the face. Oh, that was fast. Oh God, what the hell? Oh, good Lord. Lawrence, what happened to you? Oh, good lord. I don't know how to dodge that. I'm just kind of panic rolling. I'm pretty sure the lava behind him is hurting me. That's what was hitting me. Oh, this is, uh, this is something. Yikes. All right. That's not the right timing. Whoa, he just breathes fire now. Okay. jump instead of rolling. That's kind of miserable. I'm trying to hit him in the head to see if I get a stagger. So far, no stagger. I fought Nameless King Lawrence. Oh yeah, that fire behind him is bad. Okay. He turns faster than I turn. Yep. Bad, 
not bad. He's just full of lava now. I don't remember getting in front of him, but okay, game. I guess he turned into me. I was on his right arm and I was holding left, but I guess he, the way he turned, pushed me past his head. Whatever. That's not that bad. That's pretty fun. Except for the whole, like, uh, yelling nonstop. We're back, Lawrence. You can yell some more if you'd like. That's annoying. Yeah, see, he like, he like pushes me backwards. Ugh. I don't know why I, I'm trying to switch my weapon. Three times. All right, my health. Hmm. Okay. Let's see how different the damage is on my daggers. I'm, oh, okay. Am I dead? No. All right. Whatever. All right. Sure. That one's really fast. Oh, okay. I didn't expect that to hit me, but he does. All right. We have changed up the drip. Add some fire resist. The only thing that's really catching me off guard with the amount of damage it deals. We got 308 now. Let's go. Hello, Lawrence. I'm back. Every time. Okay. Sometimes I can walk through his leg. Other times I can't. I don't know why. The camera? Okay, we'll, we'll give one moment as the camera just glitches through the wall. I rolled too early to get distance. Okay. I'm starting to think his big arm is his weak side. All right, let's try to be aggressive with more than one attack at a time. Nothing but him the dodge roll button. Big camera. Yeah, I don't like being behind his small arm. My health?
like how his elbow hits me on that one, I think. Yep, he get hit by his elbow. Elbow bonks. Close the distance. Okay. Okay. Yep. Good. Good. Yep. Good. Uh huh. Dead. Cool. Remember, this is the aggressive souls. I attacked more than twice. What happened? I died. <laughs> All right, let's go die again. Let's try a parry in this time. Okay. Couldn't really see that animation past my character. I'm shooting him during his attacks, but I'm not getting a parry. Hmm. Not sure. trying to predict the swings but toxic see i get an opening but i can only hit him twice and then i still get hit one hit aggressive two hits Aggressive! <laughs> I cannot see that attack coming. Nice. Dead. Yep. Very cool. Aggressive! Keep up the pressure! But don't attack more than twice! And then run away! Ah. <laughs> Is he gonna jump? No jump? Oh, literally jumped as I said it. Oh, oh, he fell. I don't think I've actually can't move. I don't think I've actually heard his leg yet though. Wrong side, wrong, wrong side, I'm trying. Uh 
okay. <laughs> no matter where I went, he hit me. No matter where, I, I, I guess when he goes into phase two and falls over, I can't believe I didn't hurt his leg yet to slow him, his movement down. But I guess I have to not be in the pocket. That phase one, I guess, was fine, but... Okie doke, we try again. Okay. Why does that one hit hit me for a thousand damage? I can't hit you when you're in the corner like that, Lawrence. Can you come here? I think I injured his leg there that time. I hit his head more. Mm. Gonna pull his hand out. Yep. Doing the falling around phase now. Yes, yes, yes. Different grab than the other one. This other one bugged out. Yes, sir. other leg that time. Oh, I hit his head when he when he fell over top of me. Mm. The best thing in this phase is to hit him when he's uh, when he's doing the fire breathing. Trying to get that fire breathing attack. Yeah. All right. Well. Indeed, Lawrence. Indeed. Indeed. Can't be in front of him. Breathe some fire or something? You got a lot of fire in you, Lawrence. Come on. I'm even giving you some. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna flail around a little bit.
thought he was going to do the fire breathing attack because he reared up, but he did not. All right. Lawrence, come on, man. Lawrence, my guy. Is it a distance thing, maybe? It is. Okay. That was too far away. I don't know if he could hit his head during that. All right, fair enough. Wish I could get that. That breath attack is very much like Nameless King, which of course this came before the Nameless King. So technically Nameless King is like Lawrence. And then the crawling around phase is very much like the brothers in Dark Souls 3 as well. So once you got to that phase, I was like, oh, I've been here before. That's not that bad. I wiped all the times in the first phase because I was like, I'm trying to get behind him. I'm dead. <laughs> Beasts embrace. What's that do? Embrace. Temporary boost to transform plus 15. Plus 15 what? Plus 15 what? Transform plus 15. So you transform faster, stay longer, do more damage, jump higher. I don't know. Some of these... It's just from soft tooltips. Because then you go... Then you take this tooltip, right? You go to the, to the data mined wiki either of them and they'll have like four or five lines of what they what it does uh it actually changes the color of your coat it gives you a different aura it uh lowers the frame count of your uh r1 attack by two it gives you a stacking damage boost like the beast pellet it does not stack with the beast pellets it also lowers the amount of of, of uh bar you need to transform into your temporary beast form and the all the all the tooltip says is temp beast plus 15 gives you a haircut <laughs> yeah exactly uh beast pellet stack 15 percent faster now I, i'm memeing but i i want to know now hold on now I, I have to look as a capstone to this video that had a little bit of frustration in it because i guess i'm just not the huntery fights and like the humanoid fights, I'm all about. But some of the like the beast style encounters, I'm like, I don't know how to do the whatever with the stuff. Uh, beast's embrace. Let's see. Go put it on first. Oh, does it actually change what you look like too? Hold on, I won't. I won't read the wiki then. We'll go back to the hunter's dream. Lawrence was a was an optional boss because it's a dead end right here. Although, was there anything in his room? I already looted the item he was holding. Hold on, I have a hat on. Take this hat off. Does it actually give you a haircut? I gotta see. Because if it does, it's so good. It's one of these. Beast's Embrace. Oh! Hi, how are ya? <laughs> okay. So part of what I was memeing about, I'm not memeing the haircut is dope. I mean, the hair is cool. The face though. I don't know about the face though. Oh, that's funny. Oh man. Poof. We're back to being weird Harry Potter. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta read what it actually does. Hold on, this is important. 
When equipped, transform the player into the Ghastly Beast. One of the two covenants that involves in transforming. The other one is the Luminwood Kin one. Sure. It radically changes how the hunter behaves, both in movement and when attacking, but only with the Beast Claw. So you have to use the Beast Claw weapon. It gives you a different back step. And the rolling looks quicker, which is annotated to say needs testing. This game is like a decade old. Has no one tested it if it actually is quicker? <laughs> uh, most notably, the hunter will howl and screech like a beast when attacking and during certain movements. It improves the entire beast claw move set. It... It will trigger a backstab, allowing for visceral attacks. The beast howl on the L2 will now consume zero quicksilver bullets. This ability can be parried by other hunters. It'll deal minor damage, but can attack multiple opponents at once. It heavily boosts the beast the beasthood meter. This is especially noticeable when used on multiple opponents. I don't know what that means. The dashing heavy R2 attack while transform will make the character drag both claws along the ground and slash at the target from below. Each claw will hit separately, which is independently boosts your beasthood. During combat, the hunter will hunch over, behaving more beastly when using unique dodge animations with slightly increased distance while dodging. The hunter can then deal, sorry, deal a transformation attack from normal to transformed, with, which was impossible to do without wearing the rune. And while it is no charged R2, they deal slow but heavy damage that can quickly boost your beast hood meter. From soft tooltips. And like I said, it's like two paragraphs of stuff that it does. <laughs> oh man, it's so good. I love it. I mean, they they have to keep doing that. Obviously, this is only their in order third game, and they still do it in the newest ones. I can't wait for the Shadows of the Erd Tree DLC to come out for Elden Ring, and you're gonna get things like that. You're gonna get you know a new great rune that says increases Golden Order aptitude. And you're like, what the fuck does that mean? And then a couple weeks after launch at the data mining and testing, it's going to be two paragraphs of stuff that it's going to do. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It also looks like a face hugger from Alien. Am I wrong? That's a face hugger from Alien, right? I'm not crazy, right? 